Yeah. So who are you? I'm Sam Gentile. Sam Gentile. And uh, where are you from? Nashua, New Hampshire. And you're not a Microsoft employee, right? Quasi Microsoft guy. And where are, where are we right now? I mean, we're at a. We are in the company museum. Yeah. And at Code. What do we call it? Code, Code, Code Slam. There it is. Yeah. Right. Got done. That's Code Slam. So yeah. how did this all happen? You get an invite. Corby Parnell called me about a month ago and asked if he ran this event, would MVPs like me come and help populate uh, the Code Gallery with some samples? And we talked for about a half hour on whether we could even float it uh, with Microsoft. And I encouraged them, and here we are, 60 people here. Yep. And, and my buddy Ward, and, and who, the fam- God. 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> well, but, who is this guy, anyway? Ward Cunningham saved my life. He taught me how to do software better. Um, he, we got a great story about the original wiki that Ward invented and I was fortunate, fortunate to be part of that community and I had spent... You were there in the early days, right? I was there in the very early days with uh, Ward, Kent Beck, Martin Fowler, a lot of famous people and uh, basically I had 17 years of experience of doing it wrong with the Raytheons of the world and big process and you know, designing a lot of stuff that never went anywhere, didn't have any value. And these guys would just challenge all of my assumptions, all these smart guys, like they'd always say, what's the value producing that UML diagram? Who's going to read it? You know, why are you doing that? You know, and ever since that day, you know, we ended up inventing, I guess, extreme programming. And uh, ever since that day, I've been a test-infected, test-driven development program, but I owe it all to these guys, I mean. Well, Sam says, Sam says, uh, Sam says wiki, or Sam says I did it, but really what I did is I made a, a website that had faith in people, yeah. and, and, and in 1995, the people on the net were basically programmers. It was easy to get a lot of programmers, maybe hard to get to a lot of other people, but we made a site where, you know, it, it embraced the experience of real programmers, and I think it was the first time where we had a lot of programmers describing their experience and comparing it to each other and trying to learn the lessons of that experience. Yeah. And, and one lesson that we learned is that a lot of this uh, big design up front, all this software engineering, uh, you know, sounded right, but in practice it didn't work. Now, the way I like to think about it is, you know, every company had these guys in the back room, you know, and they'd say, oh, well, I'm just too old to understand all this process stuff. And what that really meant is, you know, when you guys are really ready to ship a product, call us, but don't give us all that bunk. And what they'd do is they'd go ship the product. The trouble is they didn't talk to each other because they didn't talk to the process guys, and the process guys were carrying the message from company to company. So what we made is a website called Wiki. Wiki is Hawaiian for quick. It's a quick way to put a bunch of information into a site. You almost named it Quick Wiki. Or quick I web. almost called it Quick, quick Wiki. Web. Quick, quick web. web. And if I had, I, you know, I would nobody, nobody, nobody. nobody. Right, right. So you right now I say, I, right, right. I say if it has You two, would have been in his position. <laughs> I, I say if it has two eyes in it, I had something to do with it, right? Yeah. You know, in the name, two eyes, Wiki. And, right. No, it... it uh, it's, uh, I mean, this idea of... When was like, that, by the way? It was 1995. 95 and... and uh, so you guys were hanging out in 95. We yeah, were. the golden years were 95, 96, 97, 98. That's yeah, when know, we I'd had the most... It was, it was the first five years. The first yeah. five years. And, and, and uh, you know, after, after that, it became famous uh, more as collaborative software right. than a place to learn about computer programming because because as the web
web grew, there were more people who were interested in the web than interested in computer programming. And that was always a lot of tension on Wiki. Tell a little story about uh, Sam and the Wiki community in regards to Microsoft well, technology. This is, this is, this is a funny this thing, because here, here we are telling the story at the Microsoft store. I'm going to stay a little close because the microphone is really okay. noisy. Okay. Here, so. the, 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 the funny thing is, is, is all this conversation about what works and doesn't work, uh, you know, we had a community that was just honest about what worked and what, and Sam would show up and he would say, well, yeah, but you guys are talking about that, and that's done this in Microsoft. You know, it's right here, guys. What are you talking about? And, and they would say, oh, Microsoft, you know, you can't, you know, and they'd go crazy. Where are we up to? Well, we'll, yep. start, we'll start with the, uh, with the story of the, uh, uh, Sam on Wiki. And, yep. and so, so, so uh, we, were, we, we created this site, and, and we were devoted to, uh, to, to getting to real practitioners' experience about programming. We wanted to know what really worked for real people in programming. We made a site uh, dedicated. We called it Patterns at the time, but we didn't require that people write in the software pattern format, although we did like it. And uh, we got a lot of practitioners comparing uh, what worked in terms of shipping software. Yeah. Now, and you're telling me about uh, Sam uh, kept well, sticking well, up Sam for Microsoft. Was, well, Sam was, you, you, Sam was, you, Sam was you there. You were trying to do the thankless job of sticking up for Microsoft on a web forum, huh? Just like somebody <laughs> who might be on the other side of the screen. Right, right. We have some empathy here. Yeah, we have a whole camera. community now right. called Channel 9. But back right. then, you were out, at, out on the... Oh, oh. He, he, was, he was alone. <laughs> and, I was and, all alone. Very much alone. Yeah, and I, I think there were sympathizers. I was a sympathizer, but I wasn't daring enough to go out there because actually I didn't know Microsoft well then. And I just said, "Well, you know, let's see what happens." And what happened is, uh, you know, in this environment that was very much a very supportive environment for talking about people's personal experience, Sam's experience was denied. He would say, "I've had this experience with Microsoft," as you know. Honest as anybody else, and people say, "Oh, well, it's Microsoft." It can't no, no, be. MTS can't possibly scale. You didn't do that system for Merrill Lynch. They would deny that it actually could be done, and you try to work through, and, and they'd have this sort of uh, bizarre reaction beyond. You, you know, you just couldn't describe it. It was like almost like a visceral reaction to anything Microsoft. But, but but the thing to remember is that this was this was really a community of peers and right. and and Sam was part of it and when we're talking about extreme programming and trying to understand that and its relationship to design and all that he's a full fledged member of the community but whenever he says oh you're going crazy why are you going like that let me just explain how it's done in Microsoft and oh and an explosion right so it was the darnest thing the darnest thing I say that except that you know here's a guy who's basically being excommunicated, yeah. you know, from this community, and... And this wasn't Slashdot or anything like that. No, no. This, was a, this was supposed to be... This was the friendly site. This, this was, was the friendly, friendly site. site, so that uh, it was, uh, you know, it was the real smart people of the world. I flocked there because I didn't want to go on Slashdot or CompuServe at the time, because the people actually, when we were discussing extreme programming and patterns, like you said they were really great people they smart people but they just had this strange kind of reaction to Microsoft so I was in a couple months ago was right I was walking through the halls of Peg's building right right and Microsoft and I step and Ward runs into me almost literally right right in the hallway and, and, and I knew Sam only by name right from from those early days and and Sam him, you know, he he duped it out with these people until finally he says, "Look, you got me outnumbered. I'm right. out of here." And it turned out it's only a half a dozen people who were always fighting with him. And everybody says, "Oh my God, we're going to miss Sam." You know what about this? So so the whole is Sam with us or not with us or whatever it was just it was a real first real hand wringing experience for for Wiki. It was it was a 
it was a growing up point for Wiki. But you know, Sam was legendary yeah. on the site, and here I am. I'm standing in the hall, and here's Sam, and and I got to meet Sam, and so we got to have lunch together, and just to hear, you know, I have I have uh, the um, there's few people in software that have actually built things that have changed my life. I mean, Don Box, you know, is kind of one of them, but really Ward. Did Ken, Don ever build anything? <laughs> Well, he says he built Indigo, but I think it was actually Steve Schwartz. <laughs> but uh, Don's a great guy. Don's a great guy. He teaches a lot of people. Yeah. No, Don. Uh, that's really Don is uh, is one of the best guys. But uh, you know, if I have to look at who my peers are, you know, people that I hold up there, you know, it's people like Ward, Kent, you know, Ron Jeffries. I mean, it's no small thing, you know, and I'm, I. I just feel so blessed to have been uh, a spectator, you know, who was pushing back, and I, I hope I made extreme programming or agile a little better for it, and I, I was blessed to have been acknowledged in Kent and Ron's book. But just to hear Ward, you know, when we went out to lunch, thank me for being part of that. I mean, I can't repay him enough for all the things I've learned there. Well, that's and, that's. It's the amazing thing about the site, and and what I think is, a lot of people ask me, well, how does the site work? How does it survive? Whatever. When you let anybody talk about anything, and it, and and really the the thing is that there's more good people on the net. At least in 1995, there were more there's good people are. on the net than there were bad, and it balances out. And the the funny thing is this this reaction about Microsoft, and you know, so when I decided to join Microsoft, I was working as a consultant to Microsoft and they said why don't you come and join us and I, I did and I thought well how do I explain to the wiki community knowing what happened to Sam you know I thought oh my gosh you know I, I mean, you know it, you're gonna get it, beat up well it, it so you started a wiki page it right? mattered to me yeah. it mattered to me and I, and I felt I had to explain it and I didn't know how to explain to the community so I made a page called tips for ward at Microsoft and I said let the community tell me Right. What's going on? And it turned out to be a great page, yeah. you know. And uh, you know, the advice was mostly good. A third of it was from people who were at Microsoft, and I was flattered. Well, Don's that. comments about the proper cafeterias. Oh yeah, well, I use, that I was use those. Absolutely, absolutely useful. useful. You bet. And, and, and some tips and reviews. Needs an process. update though, because the cafeteria, the best cafeteria, switched around a little bit. Oh, what is the best cafeteria? I don't know. I think probably over by uh, Bill's office. Yeah. <laughs> There's something funny about that. The bill has the best cafeteria for some reason. Well, it's probably so, over in building 30, so, 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 over by the sequel. So, so now, now, how often do you get on the camera here? Do I get yeah, on the yeah, camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to take the camera here because right. it, it, because it's really it's really this guy who got this conversation going because because he takes a lot of abuse. You know, he's out there doing the doing the Channel Nine thing. Yep. And and I've been on Channel Nine a little bit. Oh, no, I oh, right, right. right. <laughs> Uh, we got we got to get over where the lights are right <laughs> oh, here. Okay. And, the and, the oh yeah, yeah, much better. All right, <laughs> much better. And and it was really when we we're talking about this phenomenon of of you know stepping outside of rationality, you know that that that, that uh, you know and being out there and carrying the torch. You got to remember to aim the camera when you're talking. Oh. <laughs> Okay. This so, is a hard skill, man. So, so it, okay. So, so I, all right. I give up. I give up. He was saying that he's no good at this, but he's he's learned something he's in these years. Than how we are. Right. Right. Yeah. So there I was shooting your elbows. Yep. Okay. Well, you thought of the lighting. That was impressive. I did most, think of the lighting. Most amateur videographers don't think about the lighting at oh, all. So. Videographer. He's calling <laughs> yeah. himself. Now. Video blogger or whatever. Video you blogger. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're having fun here in the, uh, in the, what is this? This, this is, is like the, the, this is the, the museum. This it used is, to be the museum. It's the visitor center now. Uh, and in center. fact, there's the original hippies. Yeah. Well, let's go see. Let's see I've, the, I've actually interviewed two of these guys in the last month. So. This the original. Yeah. The original this, this guy still works here, and this guy still works here. Yeah. I interviewed him last month, and I interviewed who's, Mark who's, McDonald. Oh. He's the employee number one, and he still yeah. works here on the Windows Vista. Yeah, well, come on, standing here like you were. Like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, how do I look? You, you, think, we, we, you think we could have done it? No, you can't. There you go. <laughs>
this is a this is a good picture. So, and Corby's taking pictures here. Yeah. So, um, what else should we talk about? How, how did you get into this whole computer thing? How did I get into the computer thing? Yeah. Well, gosh, we're over you, here. So how did you not get, I really get on this picture? <laughs> well, one one of these guys is a buddy of mine from college. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Which one? Well, I'm not going to say that because he's kind of sensitive about that. Okay. Right? You know, when he's that he's that a buddy of yours? Well, <laughs> he no, was hanging out with this group. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure about that, you know, but, uh, but he's in the picture, I will say that. All right. Uh, uh, but no, we have to come over here and look at those computers and see, uh, see which ones. Uh, now, Sam, which ones of these have you programmed? I programmed that one. I programmed an Altair. Yeah. Uh, I programmed a PDP-8, if they're here. Oh, there's a, there's a TRS-80. Yeah, 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 I did that I designed, I designed a VLSI We call those trash 80s. Yeah, in, yeah in trash 80. I, I, I designed a chip. I designed a VLSI chip on a trash 80. And I had a friend who was did the design software. And every time I ran into trouble, I said, this trash 80 isn't, gonna, isn't able to do my design. And he would just fix it overnight. And I would be able to work, continue the next morning. You know, and... Uh, uh, and he was so proud of the fact that he could get his trash 80 to outperform the, the multi-million dollar CAD system we had. You know, that was the kind of passion that went with computers back then. Well, you'll have to watch the video coming up next week. Um, I, I interviewed uh, over the weekend Gordon Gordon Bell yeah? down in the Silicon Valley Computer History Museum. And he took us around a much bigger museum than this one is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's the original IBM. Right. I, I remember seeing that because my friend took me in when now, I was Now, were you an Apple guy or an IBM guy? No. Well, I was... A trash 80 guy. No, I was I was actually a workstation guy. I wanted to do all the touchy feely graphics. You were, you were and I, yeah, you know, I was uh, early into small talk and I just wanted, you know, like if it didn't have a big bitmap, I just wasn't interested. And so you know, that was kind of cool. The neatest thing was the ergonomic keyboard. Yeah. You know, the keyboard. They don't have one of those keyboards right here. No, no, the keyboard. I was actually, I was actually a VAX 11780 programmer. Six Six years at Digital when Gordon was there, and actually when Dave Cutler was still engineer in VMS, the golden heady days of Digital. But I had I had one of these, and I also had one of the original Apple IIe's. Oh, I don't E's. know which one. That's that the Mac. Is. That's oh, the original Mac. Mac. So I was I was working for Tektronix, and one of the guys said, "Well, this is the future of instruments," and he brought one of these in and was talking about portable instruments as he brought in. This is an Osborne, right? Isn't that? No, that's a no, oh, that's a oh, oh, well, it shows what I know. But there was an Osborne that was like this. Yeah. You mentioned. No, Osborne's not here. Yeah, but I, yeah, I hit one of those. I think it still works, barely. Um, that looks like Windows 2 or something? Yeah. Is that Windows 2? Windows 3. Windows 2.0. That's 3. That's 3.0 on the screen, though. Oh, Windows, Windows 2 is what I started with. State of the art in 1980-something. Yeah. Well, you had a machine. had to have a machine. I remember. I remember the first time I had that, I just rolled the cursor across the screen, and I just watched things swap, yeah. right? You know, it was a swap in, and then a scroll bar would pop up, and then something else would swap in and go down. But I'm like, yeah. so it was, it's amazing how far lines, we've come. 175 lines of C code to put up a low world. Just no, just the window. Yep. Right. It would be uh, no, it, in the pet's hold. That was uh, when I worked at Visual or Basic Pro magazine when they came out and showed us. Visual Basic, they brought that demo. They brought the C. You know, they showed how many lines of code it took to build the Hello World. And I said, Hey, are, are you watching where you're pointing that thing? Oh, yeah. See, he's falling into the same mistake. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. well, okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, watch where you point. Visual though. Basic. The Visual Basic team said, Hey, we can do this in one line of code. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. So that was, yeah. Well, then well, we won't. We won't talk about Visual Basic. Oh, tonight. come on. That's Bill's favorite language. There's Bill right there. So, yeah. <laughs> the magic inside the machine. Anyways, he, he uh, looks. He does look better these days, I must say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for spending some time with us. Well, thank you. And uh, the early days of the wiki and the wiki yeah. community. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and Not often so, you so we got to talk about what you're doing here at Microsoft. Well, we will, but we'll make that our next day. Okay. All right. And are you uh, helping the Windows Vista team ship faster? Uh, <laughs> 
if they, if they were using extreme programming uh, uh, practices. They would have shipped two years ago. Yeah, yeah. So maybe Jim Mulchin needs to hang out with you guys. Yeah. yeah. If, 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 he, if he wants to code slam, he's welcome, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, actually, that's a good question. What's, what are you guys doing here tonight? Uh, tonight, this is a code slam. And this we're is... supposed to start coding something. Uh, we're Whereas, drinking too much beer, though, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We are supposed to put together sample tools and pieces of code to populate the uh, code gallery that Corby has started on Got.net. He wanted to precede it uh, with some samples from some MVPs here and assorted people and when it relaunched uh, would have some nice nice software for developers to use. Cool. And uh, But it doesn't seem like we're doing much of that. Well, it's we're early. It's only, what, 7.30 well, or so? Yeah, and we're going till 7 a.m. in the morning, so... Does any get... Co Dan Appleman told me no good, good code gets written until midnight. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right. And, <laughs> and there there has not been an appearance of any Starbucks, so I ain't code until I get my Starbucks. Starbucks. Oh, we, we got to go... Uh, where's the closest Starbucks? There's one down the street, so... Well, thanks a lot, guys. Well, thank, thank you. you. Yep.